All right, let's talk about an adverbs today, one of the eight parts of speech. Adverbs will modify a verb, an adjective, or another. This is a verb here that should be adverb. We'll take a look at how they do that. First, we have three sentences here. One will modify a verb, another an adjective, and finally an adverb. The first sentence, we have the pianist played skillfully. We have the subject pianist. We have the verb played. And then we have a word that's describing. Skillfully is describing the word played, so it's describing a verb. In the second sentence, we have she is a very skilled pianist. She is the subject, is, is the verb. And then we have the word very. That's our adverb here. And it's telling how skilled is she. Very skilled. But skilled is describing pianist, which is a noun, which makes skilled an adverb or adjective. So here, the adverb is describing an adjective. In our last sentence, we have she plays quite beautifully. Subject she plays is the verb. Quite is our adverb here. It's telling about beautifully. Beautifully describes a verb, so it is an adverb. So we've got an adverb describing an adverb here. So, again, an adverb can describe a verb, an adjective, or another adverb. They do not describe nouns or pronouns. That's the job of an adjective. But an adverb can describe a verb, adjective, or adverb. Here are the five adverb questions. How or in what manner, when, where, how often, to what extent or degree. We'll go over those in a little more detail in a bit. Here we add the adjective questions as well. Which, what, and how many. They're different from the five adverb questions. Now there's some similarities. We see the WH, so those might get confused. We've got the how often compared to the how many. Those get confused. But there are different questions. If we remember those questions, they will help us learn the difference between identifying <laughs> adjectives and adverbs in a sentence. Let's go over the adverb questions. First we have here how or in what manner. We have our subject, contestants, we have our verb, glided. What did they do? They glided across the ice. But how did they glide across the ice? Or to what? in what manner? Well, they glided gracefully. It's describing a verb, so gracefully is an adverb. How about when? When did it happen? Well, here we've got a sentence. The contest began late. Contest is our subject. Began is our verb. Late tells when. It's describing when it began. So because it's describing a verb, late is an adverb. Next we have where. The crowd surged forward. The crowd is our subject. Surged is going to be our verb. It tells where did they surge. What direction here. They surged forward. Surged is a verb. Because forward is describing a verb, it is an adverb. How often? Got the ice machine as our subject. Rarely. Uh, nope, not rarely there. Okay, reset. Ice machine works is our verb. Rarely is telling how often does it work. Rarely, because works is a verb. And this is describing a verb. It's got to be an adverb. Finally, we have to what extent or degree. The contest was very exciting. We've got contest on our subject. Was is our verb. Okay. And exciting. We've got very describing. Exciting. How exciting was it? Very exciting. It's a describing verb, so that makes it an adverb. Now, we've got a few other notes here. The words not and never are adverbs. They tell to what extent, not at all, and when. So we've got a few examples here. The ice machine does not work. The ice machine never works. So these are both adverbs. The last one is the ice machine doesn't work. We take the first sentence and we turn it into a contraction. So the nt, the, the nt there, the n apostrophe t, stands for the word not. 
So later on, when we diagram or do other things, we have to identify that as an adverb. It's not part of the verb. The verb here would be does work. And the not is not part of the verb or verb phrase. Okay, let's take a look at adverbs modifying verbs. That's the most common way uh, job of an adverb is to modify a verb. It will tell about adverbs and adjectives, but most frequently it tells a little bit more about the verb. When it modifies a verb, it modifies the whole verb phrase. So we've got here, the driver was honking his horn desperately. Driver is our subject. Was honking is our verb. And then we've got the word desperately down here. How was he honking? To what extent or degree? Desperately. He was honking desperately. So it's modifying the verb. Now, when they modify a verb, there's a few different places. Here are three sentences that mean the exact same thing. The words are very similar. We've just changed the order of the words so that the, ver the adverb can be found different places in the sentence. In the first one, the police suddenly arrived at the scene. This police is our subject. Oops. Arrived is our verb. And suddenly tells how they arrived. So you can see here it's right next to the verb. Makes it easy, easy to identify. In the next one, suddenly the police arrived at the scene. Again, police is the subject, arrives is the verb, but here the word suddenly is at the beginning. A little bit more difficult to identify, yet writers might enjoy a sentence like this. And then finally, we can have the word suddenly, which is our adverb, at the end. The police is our subject, arrived is our verb, suddenly is our adverb, because it's describing the verb in its way at the end. So, you can see it can be next to the verb, it can be at the beginning of the sentence, or at the end of the sentence, it can be in many places in the sentence. It doesn't always come right next to it. Next, we can also have an interrupted verb phrase. This is just like the example we used before about not and never. The not can be in the middle of the verb phrase, but the man, here we have man is a subject, was honking, and desperately is in the middle. It's an adverb. Describing honking and was, was honking, which is the verb phrase. But again, we need to take that out of the verb phrase because adverbs are not considered part of the verb phrase when we're diagramming or underlining or identifying verb phrases later. Fine, uh, next, we can do adverbs modifying adjectives. Okay. Uh, most often, but not always, it will come just before the adjective that it modifies. So we give a couple examples of that. Our dog, we've got here's the subject, is. Okay, and then we've got deaf. Deaf describes dog, so that makes deaf an adjective. Quite is telling how deaf he is, so that makes quite the adverb because it's describing an adjective. So it's right next to it. In this next example, we have the same thing. Your ideas are usually brilliant. Ideas is our subject. Are is going to be the verb. Okay, brilliant tells about ideas. So brilliant is an adjective. So usually is describing the word brilliant. It's usually brilliant. How often are they brilliant? Usually. Therefore, usually is an adverb. Adverbs can also modify other adverbs. Usually they'll be right in front of one another again, but not always. And they often tell to what extent or degree. So let's look at the examples here. We were laughing quite loudly. We is our subject. We're laughing is the verb. We've got loudly describing we're laughing, making it an adverb. But we want to look at the word quite. Quite is telling to what extent were they loudly. What was it? It was quite loudly, meaning it's an adverb as well. The next one, the principal spoke rather sharply. Principal is our subject. Spoke is our verb. He spoke sharply, making sharply an adverb. Rather, here is going to be telling how sharply, to what extent, was a sharp. And so an adverb can only describe another adverb. So adverbs can describe adverbs. Now we get to the real uh, bread and butter of this, an adjective or an adverb. Later on, when we're studying other things, not specifically adjectives and adverbs, we're going to have to be able to tell the difference. So how can we tell the difference? Well, here we say, ask yourself 
the questions, those five questions that are assigned with adge adverbs and the three with adjectives. That will be helpful. Another clue is that a large number of adverbs end in ly. That's a pretty big clue. However, so do a few adjectives. So we better give some examples so that we don't just assume things, but we take a look at sentences. Here, in the first sentence, adverb, the guide yelled loudly. Okay. Loudly ends in ly and is telling about how he yelled. So it is, is describing a verb, therefore it's an adverb. Here, though, the bear seemed friendly. Friendly is describing bear because bear is a noun. Friendly must be an adjective, even though it ends in ly. Sometimes the exact same word could be both an adjective or an adverb. Everyone worked hard. Hard here tells about the verb worked, so it's an adverb. In the next sentence, this is hard work. Hard is describing work, and work is a noun. So hard is an adjective. So again, these are the questions that we should be asking ourselves, trying to figure out what word it's modifying. If it's modifying a noun or pronoun, it's an adjective. If it's modifying a verb, an adjective, or another adverb, it is an adverb. So if we can remember which words go with which, most often we'll be able to figure them out pretty easily and quickly. So let's take a look at some examples here. Jan is an early riser. We've got the subject, Jan. We've got the verb, is. And then we've got the word, riser. Okay. Riser is a noun telling about Jan. Early is describing riser, which makes it an adjective, because only adjectives can describe nouns. In the next sentence, we have Jan, and we have left, and then we have early. Early is describing left. Left is the verb, and we know only adverbs can describe verbs. So that wraps up adverbs here. You'll be able to do some different work and assignments, but hopefully now we can tell the difference between an adjective and an adverb.